Lionsgate this week has started the formalities around spinning off its studio from Stars and anticipates filing the deal with the SEC in March, and completing the separation of the businesses by the end of its fiscal second quarter next September, Vice Chair Michael Byrne said Tuesday. The news officially resets the timeline for a deal Wall Street's been anticipating for the better part of a year. The transaction is meant to unlock value for the stock. When you have two very different businesses, it's tough to put a blended multiple on that, trying to show shareholders the value of both sides of the business. A separation is the cleanest way to do that, Burns told the RBC Media Conference. Stars CEO Jeff Hirsch said the standalone Stars Media Group would have its own currency, meaning shares that it can use to get bigger, or become part of something bigger, and he seemed to have little doubt that one of the two would happen. Do I believe we can continue to be successful at the size we are? Yes, he said, but it's a tough environment out there. Ditto for the studio and its circa A18, title library assembled by CEO John Feltheimer and Burns over the years, at a time when content assets have been in high demand. Post-spin, Lionsgate will be one of the only pure play, publicly traded content companies after deals including a buying spree by Kevin Meyer and Tom Stagg's Blackstone-backed Candle Media, Hello Sunshine, Moonbug Entertainment, Faraway Road, and LeBron James selling a significant minority of his SP. The deal frenzy has slowed a bit with the volatile stock market and uncertain economy, but the streaming wars are still on and the need for content is as great ever.